Welcome back to Running, Alaska Public Media's candidate forum. We have five House and Senate races left for districts representing parts of South Anchorage and the Hillside. And in House District 25, Democrat Pat Higgins is challenging Republican incumbent Sharice Millette, who declined to participate in our program. Mr. Higgins, let's begin with your opening remarks, sir. Thank you. And thank you for KKM for sponsoring this debate. Um, I came up to Alaska 33 years ago, uh, raised my three children here, my grandchildren are here, and I remember in 1983 when I purchased a house and how much less it was worth two years later. This election is all about state finances. It's all about trying to find a way to go forward, recognizing that we're spending all of our savings out of the Constitutional Budget Reserves. We spent $7 billion in savings the last two years. Uh, that account is going to be emptied in a year, and there's no plan going forward. Every attempt to try to get something done out of this legislature has failed, and this is a very important election for, our, for those in District 25. Okay, and you identified state finances. So I, I'm curious, you know, if you were the, the only one making the decision down in Juneau, uh, how you would close the gap between revenues the state's taking in and expenditures? Well, the first thing is to make sure that we're spending what we want to spend. So let's establish that what we established for um, essential government spending, what is critical and what is not. Do we spend money on things like the LIO, the Legislative Information Office, or mega projects, uh, or things of that nature? And let's make sure that the budget represents adequate funding for education and public safety. Um, the, um, the oil tax credits, which is actually giving 35% of the losses back to large oil corp corporations, they're getting more money back than what they're paying, something that Sharice Millett has maintained and supported all the time, has been there. So we have to do that. We have to look at other alternative revenues, whether that's income, sales, uh, different type taxes, and we've got to look at changes in the permanent fund to make it happen too. Uh, your opponent has a leadership seat in the House, and I, I'm, I'm curious, coming in as a, a junior House member, how you would effectively uh, you know, use a, a seat in the Democratic caucus, and, and how you'd like to see that caucus organized? Well, first of all, there was a group of moderate Republicans, Democrats, just trying to put together a bipartisan uh, group, and I think that is the only way to go. Uh, we have got to recognize this is every representative uh, in Alaska who's there it needs to have a voice and needs to be involved in this decision making. Uh, I, I like the idea of the bipartisan. You're right, I'm running against the House Majority Leader who has played a key role in not getting anything done over the last four years of dealing with these fiscal problems, special sessions in which they accomplish nothing and even refuse to work on it. Um, but I think it becomes one of change in, in the makeup so that we have a bipartisan coalition. This is one of their targeted races. Uh, looking at the state's um, education system overall, from pre-K all the way through the university system, um, how do you plan on confronting some of the challenges with, uh, with, with, with education across the state? We, we need to quit talking about cutting education or adding funds for education. We need to talk about adequate funding. Um, the Anchorage School District has been focused in the last four, eight years since I've been on it in graduation rates and academic achievement. We've gone from 60% to 80% graduation rate. That means out of 3,500 seniors, 700 more are graduating. So we've got some real results coming out of this, and we've done that uh, through a lot of approaches that we've taken. But we need to stop talking about more or less education. What's adequate staffing? We did a study. It was a Picus Odom study. We wanted to get away from that, an objective review. It looks at how much staffing the student-teacher ratio should be, and that gives a basis to go forward and say, this is what the state should be funding. Let's stop talking about more or less, saying let's come out with something that's, that's solid. Okay, and your closing remarks, sir. Well, uh, this is a huge election. Um, this election is going to decide which direction we go. If to, to vote for incumbents that have maintained that they are not going to address the financial problems at this state, we've got property values at high risk, we have jobs at risk, our economy is at risk. Listen to the Alaska Economic Development Council, they'd say that, they'd say that the legislature is napping, that's their term, uh, 